and welcome to DCGS News. This is your half term news report with Chris and Monty. It has been six weeks since the sixth form has transitioned to co-education, a move that has been met with resounding success from students, staff and parents. Challoners was fortunate to receive a visit from Gail M, silver Olympic medalist in badminton. And Paralympian Helena Lucas paid our New Year 7s a visit when they were enjoying their trip to the United Kingdom Sailing Academy. The move to a co-educational sixth form has been exciting, especially for the 58 new students. Absolutely. It has been a pleasure to see the return to co-education after 54 years of absence. We particularly believe it will help students with further education and ultimately the workplace. And it is having a more immediate effect on the students' social lives. One concern of the schools is how well the old students will mix with the new ones, but that has not posed a problem whatsoever. Some students have given us their first impressions of the move. I've had a really great positive first experience of life in the sixth form. Um, there's such a great range of facilities here and those opportunities and I feel like all the students have really welcomed me in and it's just a great community. It's so good here. Yeah. Um, it's a bit of a step up from GCC, but the teaching here like really helped me to understand it better. To a co-educational um, school for my whole life, so to come here, it feels natural and it's also the way it is in the real world, so it feels much better. I actually think it's really good. Um, I thought it would be a lot more nerve-wracking and a lot more different than what I'm used to since I, went, I came from a girls' school. But right now, I don't, I don't think I ever really noticed a huge difference. And everyone's like so nice and the education here is really, really good, so I'm really enjoying it right now. Badminton silver medalist Gail Ems delivered an engaging talk on the Friday the 14th of October to Year 11 and 6th form students. It was a pleasure to see her overwhelming, overwhelming enthusiasm and passion for getting people into sport. Gail Ems has had an incredibly successful career as a professional badminton player. She is world champion, two-time European champion, two-time Commonwealth champion and an Olympic silver medalist. Despite Gail now having retired from badminton, she is eager to inspire the next generation to love sports. We had the opportunity to interview Gail with Ed, who organised Gail's visit alongside Miss Rogers. Okay, so Gail, when did you get into badminton and how did it all start? Um, well, I was very lucky in the fact that I started badminton at a young age. I wasn't very good to start with, but I think it was just purely with my mum's enthusiasm and encouragement from the age of four. Yeah. I mean, that's so young. I just sort of carried out, played in the junior badminton team and... Um, yeah, I just, I just love doing sport. I did all sport at school, but mainly badminton was my cool. best one, I yeah, think. Yeah. And what advice would you give to someone who's kind of starting to think about going down a professional sporting career? Well, I mean, to have an opportunity to do sport as a job is incredible. You get to travel the world, you represent your country. Just try and give absolutely everything you can. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And um, yeah, just know that you can do your best and give 100%. If it doesn't work out, at least you can say that, and then, yeah. you know, whatever happens, whatever happens. Yeah. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. Lastly, the Year 7 expedition to the United Kingdom Sailing Academy from the 26th to the, 30th, to the 30th of September was, as ever, a great success. A surprise highlight was a visit from Paralympian Helena Lucas MBE. Helena won gold in 2012 and a bronze in Rio sailing a 2.4 MR one-person keelboat. Helena was a truly inspirational person for the Year 7s to meet, and she's created fond memories. Seven Holman were fortunate enough to have a picture taken with her between her shooting with BBC Breakfast. And that's it from DCGS News. Thank you for watching.